student now in this video we'll discuss about the second type of question of relation topic okay see what the question so that the relation are defined by ordered pair cv related with cd this implies and implies by a plus d equal to b plus c on uh, the set a cross a where set a is equal to 1 to 10 is an equivalence relation and also we have to find the equivalence class of 3 4 okay and where a b c d belong to the set a see firstly for equivalence relation we have to prove that given relation is reflexive symmetric as well as transitive relation okay so start with the reflexive relation reflexive firstly we have to consider element which is belonging to the a cross a in previous question we are taking the element related with the set a but here we are defining the relation on a cross a so we have to take the element of a cross a so in generalized form we have to write here let a b belong to a cross a so for reflexive relation what we have to show that means if every element of set a relate with itself so just i have taken ordered pair c b so we have to prove that this ordered pair c b relate with itself by the given relation so here a b relate with a b how we can say that a b relate with a b because if a b relate with c d so we are writing a plus d equal to b plus c means first add with the last okay uh, means we get sum of the extreme uh, extreme plus is equal to the sum of the middle and if here a b relate with a b so by given relation we can write here a plus b means first plus last a plus b is equal to b plus a so we have to check this statement this mathematical statement is true or not why this is true because addition is following the commutative law okay and where a and b belong to the set a and set a element is 1 to 10 so if you take any two elements uh, from set a and if you will add uh, like 1 plus 2 equal to 2 plus 1 2 plus 3 equal to 3 plus 2 so we can say that this statement is true why this is true because addition is following the commutative law that's why this is true okay so it is true it is true okay reason also you can write because addition is following hold commutative law that's why this is true so r is reflexive now second we have to prove that given relation is symmetric okay so see how we we'll prove symmetric relation for symmetric relation we need two elements okay so let ordered pairs a b and c d belong to a cross a and uh, student which type of mistake uh, they are doing they are taking the elements a b and b a okay in reflexive uh, relation they are taking the element a comma a okay this is a misconception so please avoid this misconception okay for reflexive we have to take ordered pairs a b and for symmetric we have to take two elements a b and c d okay now for symmetric relation first condition if a b relate with c d this condition is true and we have to show that c d relate with a b so if a b relate with c d so what we can write a plus d is equal to b plus c okay now in uh, roughly we can write here it's like if c d relate with a b so what we have to get like c plus b is equal to d plus a so we have to convert this statement in this form so what we can write here b plus c like we can write here b plus c is equal to a plus d first step means left hand side we can write uh, just we are exchanging left to right right to left okay so that's why we are using here or so b plus c is equal to c plus b because already we are knowing that uh, addition is following the commutative property so b plus c is equal to c plus b and d plus c is equal to a plus d so on the place of b plus c we have to write c plus b 
and a plus d equal to d plus a okay why we are writing because addition is following the commutative property so that's why we can write here b plus c as equal to c plus b and a plus d equal to d plus a now if you are getting here c plus b equal to d plus a so we can say that this implies that cd relate with ab roughly already i have checked if cd relate with ab so that is statement we have to get and same thing we are getting here so we can say that cd relate with ab so r is symmetric so r is symmetric now next we have proved that we have to prove transitive relation so for transitive relation that means we have to consider three elements like let a b c d and e f which is belonging to a cross a and some students are making mistake here a b b c c d like that they are writing okay so you have to take three different elements like a b c d and e f now for transitive relation that means we have to firstly check like if ab relate with cd and cd relate with ef then we have to show that ab relate with ef so firstly these two condition is true so we can change in equation form like a plus d is equal to b plus c this first equation and uh, second what will be c plus f is equal to d plus e the second equation on adding on adding equation first and second so we can get here a plus d plus c plus f is equal to b plus c plus d plus e so d will cancel out here and c also will cancel out so we can get here a plus f is equal to b plus e now what i have taken here ab relate with cd and cd relate with ef so we have to prove that ab relate with ef so roughly we can check here if ab relate with ef so what we can get a plus f is equal to b plus e so same thing we are getting here if a plus f equal to b plus c e, so we can say that here ab relate with ef okay therefore r is r is transitive r is transitive relation okay so finally given relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive now then hence we can say that r is r is and is an equivalence relation equivalence relation okay now we have to also find here equivalence class of 3 comma 4 so equivalence class of 3 comma 4 means we have to find the ordered pairs which is related with 3 comma 4 so let here 3 comma 4 relate with x comma y okay if 3 comma 4 relate with x comma y so we can write here 3 plus y is equal to 4 plus x according to the definition of relation so y is equal to what we can get here x and 3 we can transfer in this side x plus 1 now put the value of x and get the value of y so if x is equal to 1 means we have to take the element uh, of set a only okay because set a is varying from 1 to 10 so we can take the element of x 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 10 only okay so if x is 1 then y is equal to 2 if x is 2 then y equal to 3 And x, three and y is equal to put here three four y equal to four and so on. So at last, what we can get here? If x is equal to nine, if x is equal to nine, then y is equal to what we can get ten. 
okay and after that if you are taking x is equal to 10 then y equal to 11 but y equal to 11 if you if you are getting and uh, set a is defining from 1 to 10 only okay so up to 10 just we have to consider so if x equal to 9 so y equal to 11 you are getting so that element just we have to exclude okay so up to that this will be the equivalence class so how will write this equivalence class so equivalence class of 3 comma 4 in curly bracket you have to write all the order pairs like 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 and dot dot 9 comma 10 okay so this is equivalence class of 3 comma 4 okay so this is the six marks question related to the relation topic very important only two type of question we get uh, in relation uh, in first video in previous video we discussed already first type of question and in this video we are discussing second type of question so you have to revise only two type of question in relation for board examination okay let's see all the solution once again reflexive okay this is symmetric relation and this is transitive relation and then equivalence class of 3 comma 4 okay students in next video we'll discuss about the some different topic